Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys. Now, I know I talked about this figure already, but in the previous video, I mentioned how I was a little hesitant about it. Not that I was saying it was 100% fake, but the fact that it had the missing Link title and it, it just seemed like something that fans really would have wanted or could recreate. In fact, I've seen recreations of that. I was like, eh, this could be fan-made, but no, apparently it's not. It's an actual Takara figure coming out. This is going to be the highly articulated version of the G1 Optimus Prime, aka the Missing Link Optimus Prime. Now, there are two versions coming out. One is going to be based on the toy aesthetic with the paint job and the tinted windows and everything. The other one is going to be based on the cartoon, which is the anime version, so it has much more cartoon appearance with the deco, but we're going to start off with the toy appearance appearance which comes with the trailer and accessories so you get a little bit more out of this one which I kind of understand but I do feel it's kind of weird that you're just gonna skip out on the other one considering that in the show he did also have the trailer he also had roller so kind of weird with that but I guess that's just how they're doing it but the trailer looks fine you know it's kind of the traditional G1 aesthetic for the you know trailer I like the striping on the side as far as the sorry as far as the cab is concerned it looks pretty good uh the windows are tinted in gold which i don't think is on the original toy i have to look back but that might be kind of weird i don't know maybe i'm misremembering that but it does also have the little sticker the rub symbol on the top there which i thought was a nice touch but the chrome and the red you know it all comes together very nice it's very iconic to that optimus prime style of course it is uh, why wouldn't it be? And uh, there's all the accessories, so it does come with stickers to attach to the trailer itself. The drone is able to detach from the trailer, so you can have that articulate however you like. And then roller, you have to clip on the wheels, but you can plug the gun on the back. It's the silver version of roller. I much prefer the blue one, that's just me, but, you know, that's totally fine. If you want the silver one, there you go. And then, here we have the Optimus Prime. Here we have a good look at it with the yellow eye. So yes, this is the Toy Deco in a much deeper, darker blue. Uh, but I like the fact that you're able to bring up the shoulders, because originally with the uh, old Optimus Prime toy, despite the fact that you can move them out due to the transformation, the only real movement you can really use is forward and back. So allowing that, you know, it just gives him more to work with, I guess. Uh, the elbows are also articulated. You know what? They weren't so bad on the original G1 toy either, but now you have hand movement, which has a wrist joint here, which you can use to hold the matrix, which is removable from the chest, so that's nice. And then he's also got articulated fingers, much like some of the Voyagers or leader classes from the Legacy line. Uh, you could also swap his hand, or at least cover his hand, with a battle axe. He also does come with the rifle. We did see that with Roller. But another cool thing is that the arms don't use stickers. Those are molded in and then painted over with the details, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the legs, you know, you got the hip motion. I'm not sure if the front of the torso, the, the bottom section, uh, or I should say waist, is uh, just a flap that moves, kind of like the Lego Optimus Prime and how they did that, because it seems like there's a waist joint that tilts forward, and I'm kind of hoping that that's the case because it will free up some of the leg motion. But yes, he's got fully articulated hips, which is probably a lot better than working with the original G1 Optimus Prime. I'm always worried that thing is going to break. But from what I heard, apparently the lower legs are not that much different compared to the original Optimus Prime. In fact, I heard that they're reusing the same legs. Which actually does kind of make sense, it's got the same trailer hitch, and really it didn't really do anything wrong, so I guess that's just what they're doing. I, I could be entirely wrong about that, I just heard about it, but uh, that is the Toy Deco version, now we can take a look at the Anime Deco version. So it does still have the rub symbol on the sign, uh, so, sorry, on the top, and then for the Deco... The blue seems to be a little bit brighter, but I might be wrong about that. Uh, the rest of it, you know, just seems, you know, very similar, except for the blue tinted windows, which is something that I personally prefer. And then we take a look at the robot mode, and I'm liking this one a little bit more. It's a little more classic, a little more cartoonish, but still has that toy aesthetic just with all the joints, which is fantastic. Again, the blue tinted windows are nice. You can see blue eyes this time around. Uh, it is still kind of weird that he doesn't come with the trailer, but I I'm fine with it. Also, I believe the details in the knees and the toes are different as well. And then you could also see that they left the arms unpainted, but if they're going for the classic anime look, 
then that's kind of necessary. It's not just, oh, they're cheaping out on that. No, it, it needed to happen. So, with that out of the way, and then you also have an articulated head, which is pretty cool. With that out of the way, um, I'm kind of excited to check out more about this. I'm not sure if I'll get it, because it does seem like it's going to be made only for Takara, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And, uh, you know, I've got Takara stuff before, but I'm not sure if it's something I really need to go after. Um, but uh, it is there. It's a neat little thing. And if you want it, there it is. So, without the way, what do you guys think? Please comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, and share, subscribe, and all those fun dudes. And I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.